Aries, we're getting closer and closer to your solar eclipse, babes. <sighs> this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundary. Oh, look at that. Time to collaborate. On what? What kind of collaboration? We will find out. Aries, this is a message for Aries energy. So Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. This is, after all, your message. It comes to you when you are capable of receiving it. So I don't mark any specific dates. It's timeless in that respect, but it does cast for like a week out, though sometimes we'll get specific dates, like it'll tell you a month out or the next full moon or something like that. So that'll, that'll come out in the reading. Um, if you're looking for personal reading, I do do those. Please check out my website, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. I actually offer a lot of different services, so you take the one that resonates with you. And I know I have availability next week, so hopefully I can help. I Oh, okay, we're going to leave that one there. I also have an announcement about the BWOB membership. We are now doing abundance share. So the more members I have, the more abundance you get to share in. So please go and sign up for the BWOB membership to this channel today. And then on March 20th, you will get to participate in the abundance share. What is that? It's cash giveaway. Cash giveaway. Prizes will go to three lucky BWOB winners as a way to share the abundance that you help to bring the channel. You can still sign up. March 20th is when the drawing happens. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Did I actually just, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> Aries, Aries, God, what messages do you want? So there's resources here and it's time to share the resources. The abundant universe will provide, especially those resources that come from the help of others. So it is a good time to invest in others as well as allow others to help you. Let's get into it. We started out with time to collaborate. That's number one, the building blocks. Maybe you're just beginning something, starting something, but it's time to allow other, like, like take in the help of others and help others. So the abundant universe will provide us here. There are many, many resources, perhaps even resources coming in because of your collaboration, uh, working with other people. This could mean a job. This could be like this could be a brand new job for you that's coming in, which is good stuff. Learn from the past. Okay, there's something there because it's coming in from the past. What does this all have to do? This is very much Taurus energy, so it's got to do with finances, my friends. Finances and maybe building blocks, helping others or remembering who helped you. And so you're going to be very quick to help them or know like who you can call in a favor from, from whatever this is, we're going to get deeper into it, but it does have something to do with finances and actual tangible resources. So let's see what this card. Ooh, well, that surprised me. Co-create with spirit. A little bit of faith involved here as well little bit of magic in the hat but not really ma like but it's like it's like practical magic it's like hard work right will we'll actually increase the value of everything that you are doing but you are doing something so there's there's your conscious behavior in the mix it's required for this remember the abundant universe will provide you know this is along the lines of all the other readings that I've been doing in that it's saying resources will come. You have to believe. So it's it's not the the mentality of I'll see it when I believe what I I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Right? It's the mentality of I believe it and therefore I see it. 
and that's what God's asking you to do right now is get into the mentality of I believe it therefore I will see it because I will work on it so there is faith involved here but you see the value somewhere and you know what's worth investing in and certainly other people are seeing that in you this is yielding opportunities that are coming out now where do we have uh, be at home so <laughs> Some place that you are familiar, maybe you are building your home or working on your house, literally, right? Uh, doing improvements to your home or working on your family. But when I turned this card over, I heard it's very close to home. You don't have to go far. It's not like you have to venture out into these weird places. This is some. This is some place that's that's very close to home, close to your heart space. You feel very comfortable in this energy, and it's almost like you know something is going to work out, and it's verified. It is going to work out. Let's get a little bit into the future. We have be playful, like enjoy this time. It's it's like the situation is just going to get lighter from here. So co converse, laugh, talk, ch chat. There's something here that there's something or someone here that is making you extremely comfortable. <laughs> like, like you just feel good, which is why it's very easy for you to do your best work. There is work involved with ants here, but, but it's, it's just like, the, it's comfortable and like whistle while you work, you know, let's see what's coming out here in the future. You are never alone. That's love. We got something building, my friends. We got something building. And it's starting, this is what God's saying, it's starting with comfort. It's starting with, I feel good here. This person or this situation, these people are easy to talk to. And 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 I'm, I, I'm at home here. And I know that there's resources backing me up. Learn from the past. I want to get into what that means. What do you mean learn from the past? learn what what is why is it why is it, that card here clarify queen of pentacles from a job from an employer from somebody's kindness to you somebody caring for you could also be a taurus female somebody that was generous is has given a lot to you and provided a lot for you and it's because of this that you know to invest in others the same way it's a maternal figure and this woman would have been, if she's not an earth sign, she would have been very practical and very dependable. And in a lot of ways, made sure that everybody always had everything they needed. Ooh, we have the, and then we have the lovers. So either she was part of a couple. This is Gemini energy repeating itself. Um, very easy to talk to and you learned a lot from this person. Or... This is a sense of this taught you what love is. She, in, I feel like this is a maternal figure, but in some ways this person, whoever this is, could have been a boss that ended up just being like a mentor, right? Taught you how to, like taught you what you were worth and taught you your value. And it's, and then taught you what it is to be in partnership or what kind of partner you should be looking for. And so, and this is very solid energy, very solid information. So I don't care if it's your actual mama, a mentor from work, your grandmama, your auntie, I, whoever this was, this was a person that really set up your understanding of your own value and how to collaborate and what to look for in that collaboration. And I have to say the standards were high and that is a very good thing. Um, and look what it's yielding. It's yielding a really beautiful match with somebody. So this is a this is a time when you become very very aware of how great a lesson or example was and how blessed you were to have that in ground into you because it is setting you up potentially because this is still in the future. But I think the outcome is predictable in that you are never alone. If this person has somehow left you, if they are part of the spirit world, then their message is coming through. I'm always going to be with you. It's because I taught you, because I my lessons changed who you are. So I'm always going to be with you and you will always be able to feel my love and I am going to lead you. Follow my example because I am going to lead you to that connectivity that you actually desire. Let's get a little bit more 
Informa information on that. Maybe we should, let's continue with the Golden Girls because look at this. This is how to be valued in love or how to maintain a strong relationship. Okay. What is this otter spirit? What's going on here? This is family and love and sticking together. Right? And it's, it's easy. It gets easy for you to do that because the example was so strong. But what is this otter spirit? Where is this leading Aries? Where is this leading Aries? Where is this leading Aries? It is leading Aries to confusion, stuck between a rock and a hard place, or having two different choices. No, that doesn't feel right. Maybe the new moon. Okay, I need a little bit more clarity. Sorry, Golden Girls. I didn't like that. I don't know. I don't like that answer. You need to give me something else. What do you mean, God? Ah, oh, there we go. Six of Cups. Somebody you didn't see in the past. You know this person. And when I say you know this person, it doesn't always mean that they were always meant for you. Sometimes they have to become the person that you were meant for. And you have to become the person that was meant for them. But this would be somebody close to home that you kind of never even had on your radar before. But you're starting to realize that you are so compatible in ways that you, you didn't see before. And that's okay because how could you? And this is all about timing. It's all about growth. We are linear creatures, my friends. We are linear creatures. So we have to take one step at a time, right? And, and this is the time coming up when all of those steps have led to being compatible with each other. We have the four of pentacles, which means this is reliable energy. This is solid. Somebody is solid. Somebody has grown the fuck up <laughs> and really become responsible, um, not taking any chances, or they haven't moved. This could be haven't they haven't moved. Somebody hasn't moved or somebody wanted to stay at home or be, be near home again. Why is this two of swords here? Because it's still confusing me. It's ten of pentacles here. Maybe you didn't even realize that this is what you wanted. This is marriage. You know what it means? You're going to be blindsided. That's what it means. You're not even going to see this coming. And this has got to do with the new moon. You better wait. That's the Aries new moon. April 8th. Everybody keeps talking the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is a new moon. That's what happens when the moon conjuncts the sun. It happens every single month. It's just, it becomes an eclipse when, first of all, it's during the daytime. It happens during the day or at least for the region of the earth that it's happening in the day. And so you can see it. You can see the moon conjuncting the sun, blocking out. They will block out the sun because from Earth's perspective, it's, it's blocking our, our vantage point, our viewpoint, because it's conjunct. They're conjunct in the sky. That's what a conjunction is. You can actually see a conjunction happening right there. New moon. That's what it is. Um, and um, it means that the, when it's a total eclipse, it means that the moon is close enough to Earth to block out the entire array or radiation of the sun. Not radiation, but the, the, the entire shine of the sun. So um, that only happens every once in a while. And that's really cool stuff. And if you're in Texas living around Austin, you're going to get a really good view of it. We're already prepping here. We are. Kids are getting out of school and everything because there's too, there's so many people coming for the, for the event. It's crazy. Um, but it's big and it's Aries. Aries, April 8th. Why do I say this? Because that's when it's happening, guys. Or if you're watching this two years later, go back and look at what was going on around that time because it's got something to do with that. The person that you were dealing with, the people that you were dealing with, the situation that you were dealing with. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And look at this. This is abundance, guys. This is abundance and stability and reliability. And it's coming out of nowhere. Okay, so who the fuck is this? 
Right? That's the obvious question. Golden Girls, you're going to let me down? Who is this? Well, we got the hint with the Six of Cups, right? Who is this? Judgment. What? Come on, Golden Girls. I love this deck. I'm just, I love this deck. Um, who is this person? So maybe that's the that's a hint. This person, maybe they are, uh, I don't, this is a person who would have sort of resurrected and become a better version of who they are. This is a person who finally like got it and woke up and realized something. Now, this could be you, right? It could be you. Okay, but that doesn't really help. I still want to know who is this lovey-dovey marriage material. Who is this person? Can we get a little bit of it? We got a couple of hints. The Hanged Man and Knight of Swords. It took a long time for them to come and talk to you. It also takes a long time for them to act and say something, but once they do, they just full-on charge at it. Um, also, it could be somebody that you have been waiting to hear from for a while. You haven't heard from them for at least a year. Suddenly, a message comes through. There's your hints. Let's go to... This deck. Oh, we got to get a moon card. Man. Hold on. I love you. What'd I tell you? Bam! A new... That, let, read it. A new start is coming. New moon. Okay. It's just so clear. Brand new beginning. All right. How, how does this pop off? This is the new moon, my friends. I'm not a magician. I can't pick out one card out of 54. I don't have the sleight of hand. So, <sighs> Emerald. Ceremonies and celebrations. You guys going somewhere? Because four of wands could also be like going to a celebration, birthday party, graduation. There's a lot of that kind of stuff that's hot. Baby shower, whatever the it is. Um, that kind of stuff is happening around this time. Let, let, let's read it out loud. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. Uh, it's also the new moon, the solar eclipse. So this is, this is, this is, but it's, it's bringing an important life passage, something that you will continue to celebrate into your future. And it's got something with solidifying you or bringing you together with your family, in a family, creating a family, somebody's going to be around for a while or some serious financial like stability with a new job that you're going to freaking love and just absolutely explode at. Um, but this may be popping off. I, I feel like the solar eclipse is its own ceremony but i was thinking about where how is this going to happen it's the solar eclipse or it's at a birthday that you're going to or it, it this will be an event to remember that you will celebrate with an anniversary for years to come let's go to the extended we're going to dig deeper i'll see you guys there